Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? It's myself, Rex. I'm here with Nads for another episode of Dark Souls 3. Um, if you guys are enjoying the series, please leave a like and comment. It does really help out the channel. You know, it makes, gets me motivated to keep making more videos. Um, last episode, I'm just, I'm just stuck on this boss. <laughs> this mini boss. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, we're going to talk more, a little bit more about my hero because... <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're gonna talk a little bit more about my hero because I, I feel like it. It's my channel. Oh god, I forgot to heal. <laughs> no, god. I don't get why the hell he can attack the pillars, but when I hit the pillar, I like my stuff sort of bounces off. It. off. Yeah, it's so unfair. Demon's Great Axe. Anyway, yeah, so we're going to talk a little bit more about My Hero because it's my channel, I can do what I want. <laughs> um, in the manga recently, yeah, there are going to be spoilers if you haven't seen My Hero, but... Yeah, My yeah. Hero manga spoilers coming up. <laughs> um, yeah, in the manga, he, like, got this really... Deku got this, like, this really cool design because he wanted to call Vigilante. And I, I, I don't know why. I really like the design, though. And like, so, his like text box now are like all like scratched and shit. Yeah. I like so that. Like, sick. What happens is like, um, so what's the last thing you saw in, uh, in the anime? Um, the last thing I really remember was, um, spoilers for season four if you haven't seen it. Oh my god, dude, just let me get, just let me roll. <laughs> and to be completely fair, I know we're gonna like spoil a lot about my hero if you haven't already seen it. But, like, season 5 it's, is out right now, if I'm not mistaken, and it's one of the most popular anime right now. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> so. Um, Night Eye. Night Eye. Sir Night Eye died. That's the last thing I saw. Okay, so, a lot happens from that point. So, Night Eye dies, and then, um, I'm trying to remember. Things kind of go to normal a little bit for, like, a short while. Um, Mirio, if you remember him, he's like Lamillion or whatever. Yeah, yeah, he, like lost he lost his yeah, powers. Yeah, he lost his powers. Um, and then the next thing I remember is actually the villain arc. There's an entire arc on the villains and stuff, and they like start making an underground army. And yeah, then, yeah, yeah. um, yeah, I remember seeing something like that. And then somewhere along the line, they start like invading oh. a city. <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna have and to look up like... and beat this guy. I literally can't beat him. Yeah, because every time I go to heal, he just attacks. God fucking damn it, dude. Every time a, I go to attack. A mini boss should not be this hard, dude. <laughs> you shouldn't be able to attack that many times without repercussions. Yeah. Like I literally like he'll he'll attack, I'll back up and heal, and then by the time that my healing animation is done, he's already attacked me again. Yeah. And I'm that's I don't get it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, the, the villains, like, kind of take over a city. I forget how. They, like, turn a bunch of people, and then, like, chaos ensues, and, like, a bunch of heroes go and, like, try and stop it. And, um, a bunch of them kind of get, like, defeated, kind of, but they return with, like, a whole army. And Oh, my God. I just, thank you. And what happens is, like, now you're good. Um, what happens is Shigaraki, the one that can, like, decay things if he puts all five fingers on something. Yeah. Um, he, like, goes and, like, talks to... I'm trying to remember. He, he, like, talks to this doctor. And, like, he receives all for one. How? And then, like, his... Like... Like, because All for One can, like, give his cork to others and then, like, take over their body and stuff. And, like, this scientist is one of the people that, like, help him oh, do I'm it. Oh, I'm thinking One for All. I don't know why I'm thinking of One for All. Oh. Because they're, like, they're, like, the complete counterparts of each other. Yeah. It, it's the it's the bald guy with, like, no eyes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, or, like, his um, skin looks like he just, like, was yeah. in the dryer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Shigaraki's, like, in the middle of getting this. And then all the heroes are like, this is going on, we gotta stop before it's too late. And then, like, 
it, like it starts going on and then um a war like ensues between like the heroes and the villains because the, the villains have an army now so then like oh my god all this stuff happens shigaraki's getting the cork and then like the bunny girl and somebody else goes like i think it's bunny girl and endeavor go to like stop shigaraki and then like they go underground to like get him and stop him and by the time they like get to him it's like too late he like gets his quirk and then um the bunny girl if i remember correctly loses the arm like an arm just gets cleaved off at some point and then oh uh there's like oh. this really really big guy that like got introduced and it's called the pet of like um uh, all for one and like he's insanely strong he's like on the same level as all might if not stronger and he's also in this war and he kills finally dude he kills midnight if that's her name the one with like the oh my thing God. and she would take her like clothing off and then like a gas would come yeah. out yeah like he kills her and then like that like causes a bunch of controversy and stuff oh i did get a sword so then Oh, Paul, you have a frost sword now. That's sick. And, like, the war is, like, still going on. Shigaraki gets all of, like, for one. So, like, he's super amped up now. And he touches the ground. And he wipes out an entire city. All the buildings are gone and everything. And everybody's, like, trying to evacuate people. And Deku, like, uses his, like, black whip power to, like, pull everybody up in the air. I also forgot about that. I should probably explain that. Um, Deku has all the powers of the uh, all f uh, one for all his successors. Oh. Every so single one. Finally... Yes. What the fuck? He has... Is that a crow? I don't know. I don't like it, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, he has, like, all these different powers. The ones that they've shown so far are Black Whip, which is, like, uh, just, like, Black Whips. Uh, floating from, like, uh, All Might's Master. Um, Danger Sense. He kind of has uh, Momo's Quirk, where, like, he can create things, but it's, like, better. Um, <laughs> it is. It truly is, because he doesn't have to eat, and he doesn't have to use, like, glucose or whatever to make things. I'm you, Or know the properties better. of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly! <laughs> and then he has, like, a smoke screen Quirk on top of that. Um, this is I all forget... happening. This all happens in the manga. Yes, this all happens in the manga. The Dude, manga's like insane. The story. <laughs> the story sounds like it gets sick. Too bad the anime sucks. <laughs> oh, it, it does get sick. I will say what's out of my hero right now is like, in comparison to what's going on in the manga right now, it's like not good. <laughs> yeah, it's very because the manga is so good. But um, yeah. So Deku has all these quirks. So like he like uses float. And then Black Whip to lift everybody off the ground so they don't get decayed with Shigaraki's quirk. And then they're, like, fighting him. And uh, remember how they still have the bullets from oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. the takeaway quirk? So one of the bullets get fired at Bakugo. And um, a racer head <laughs> takes the bullet. Oh, oh my god. So Racerhead doesn't have his quirk anymore. And at the time, he was holding off Shigaraki from using his quirk. Because, like, Shigaraki can easily kill, like, every hero. With, like, the blink of an eye. So, like, right now, Racerhead does not have a quirk. He cannot erase anymore. Have so, they found a cure to this yet? Uh, no. <laughs> and oh then, uh... Where did you come from, dude? What the fuck? If I remember correctly, I think Lemillion shows up during this fight, and he has his powers back. What? He was hanging around Aerie, and Aerie activated her horn and reverted him to when he had his powers. Is that how that works? <laughs> I mean, it rewinds them. If It rewinds yeah. them back to a certain point. Like, if I were to lose an arm, and she rewinded me back to before I lost the arm, then... Like, I'd have it back. <laughs> That's how it would I, work. Do I have to drop down here? I think I have to drop down here. I think you do. So, yeah, I've like, never, I've never seen this area, so, like, past this point. 
Like, yeah. a bunch of shit past this point, I have no idea what's going on. Yeah. So, so then, like, uh, that all happens, and then, like, the war is ensuing. Then, um... The Shigaraki's, like, tired. Like, he literally ran out of power because he was going, like, full stop the whole time. Because Shigaraki can also regen his body. Like, all the way if he's, like, really injured. Okay. So, he did that, like, a couple times. And the the uh, enemies retreated. And so did the heroes. And then that's when everything just starts going downhill from there. So, when the enemies retreat, or the League of Villains retreat... They go to the Max Prison, where All for One is being kept, and like everybody else there, like muscular and everything. And right, they right, just right. wreck the whole place. They break it all. Every single villain is now free in My Hero. And like All for One is like leading them, and then Shigaraki's like his like side guy. Right hand, right, right like, hand man. Yeah, well, kinda, because he's like taking him over at the same time to the court. Like, the way that All for One works. Okay. Oh, right, 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 right. They're, like... Man. Yeah. They're, like... They're, like, bonded, but, like, All for One has power over Shigaraki. So, they're, like, leading every villain, and then the entire Max Prison that's held, like, every villain ever has been broken. So then, after, like, the little war ensued, um, and it was, like, over... Where did he come from? I don't know. I heard that. Um, oh, society was eyes. like, these heroes aren't doing anything. Like, they failed to take down the villains. And, like, um, Midnight died. Which was, like, another thing. Yeah. So, they're like, these heroes can't protect us anymore. We gotta do it ourselves. So, like, society basically collapses. Like, there's no more heroes, basically. It's just, like, people with, like, equipment. Like, robotic arms and guns and stuff uh, with hero equipment. And they're, like, fighting for themselves, basically. And they wow. think they can just, like, take care of things. And then that's when things start getting so cool. Deku goes out on his own, basically. He's working with, like, the pros. Like, Endeavor. I'll stop talking so you can do this. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <Everybody>. <laughs> How do you do? You're a female. I am Anri of Astora. Unkindled like you. You're not doing your fucking job, though, are you? <laughs> a friend and traveling companion. Are you too in search of the Lords of Cinder? Yeah. We are well along the road of sacrifices. Below us is the crucifixion woods. Beyond the flooded woods lies Farron Keep, home of the undead legion. Further yet is the Cathedral of the Deep. <laughs> We seek the cathedral, home of the Grim Aldrich. I think that's like the first lord that we're gonna kill first. But we are both seekers of lords. The next time we cross paths, one may find the other in a time of need. May the flames guide your way. Okay. Oh, Anything yes, else? Horace. Oh, okay. He's not very talkative. I've noticed. He kind of just growled at me. <laughs> He's an upstanding, kind-hearted knight. Fine partner for this grueling journey. Without his help, I would have cursed this onerous duty long ago. Anything else? Along the road of sacrifice. Beyond nope. the next okay. time, made of <laughs> you have anything else to say? <laughs> nope. Okay. <laughs> Just more growling. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, my like the manga seems super cool for my hero, but like I said earlier, um, just the anime is so boring. Like, yeah. it looks good. It looks good. And there are a few parts that I really, really enjoyed. Like, um, when they're fighting Overhaul. When, um, that, that whole sequence where they're trying to save Aerie. And, like, <laughs> Deku gets praised because of, like, how he takes down Overhaul. Like, that was sick. I liked that. Yeah. A javelin. That was a spear. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wow. Jeez. Can you back off, please? There we go. Oh, yeah. I like uh, the sword. The sword is sick, dude. Yeah. Uh, the my hero thing. After society collapses and everything, and then, like, people are like, uh, we have to fend for ourselves. 
uh, Deku like joins the higher up heroes. He starts going out with like Endeavor and Hawks and stuff. Okay, who and the then, fuck like, is Hawks? Uh, Hawks is the person with the red wings. I know, I know who he is, but like, who is he? If that makes sense. If that question makes sense. It's it's hard to explain. He's like he was a kid and he looked up to Endeavor a lot, um, and then like obviously he like found out about the things about Endeavor that he did, and like, like how he, he burned was, his uh, like how he burned his child and shit. Yeah, and he was like not okay with him, but like he still looked up to him because he was like one of the top heroes. Right. Um. And, like, he, like, that's how he got to, like, the hero duty line of work. Is his quirk and just that he, like he has wings? Is that, is that all his quirks are? Um, his quirk is that he has wings, but, like, he controls the feathers. Like, he can take the feathers off of them and use them as, like, knives and stuff. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. And he can, like, oh. control them. Like, for instance, there's a fight where, like, Endeavor, like, can't keep up with somebody because he's not fast enough, but, like, Hawks isn't strong enough. So Hawks is like, screw it. And then he gives his, like, wings to Endeavor and, like, pushes him, like, into the sky to, like, literally incinerate, like, a Nomu thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Hawks you, is... Yeah, why did you turn around? Oh, God. Uh, oh, and Hawks is the number two hero. I forgot to say. I thought that he was number Endeavor three hero. Pushed one. Oh, right, 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 right. Or maybe he is number three. I thought he was number two, and I thought the bunny was number three. I think I finally got a decent shield on. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing in this area. I'm kind of just going through the motions, you know? Yeah. Um... That one seems better in a lot of things. That one's, like, it's better in everything weight. besides weight. Yeah, the weight ratio. That's like all I'm worried about because I don't want a fat roll. I think that I'm gonna have to learn, look up how to like store items in the uh, store if there's like a storage system or some shit. Yeah. Because if there is, I gotta use that. So um, Deku starts going out with like Hawks and uh, Endeavor and everything, and then All Might's back, like on the scene, but not Why? in his muscular form. He's like, he's like. He's cool. He's like Bruce Wayne in the back car type, like, <laughs> superhero. Like, he's literally driving around in this really cool, like, sports car type thing that's, like, armored. And he's, like, going after Deku, like, helping him out. Like, eyes on the road and stuff. Like, just finding villains and things like that. Because Deku's just running around, like, beating people. Like, just slaying villains, basically. And... Like, Deku, like, doesn't sleep anymore, basically. He's been awake for, like, a week or two or something like that. Because, uh, All for One is after him. He's, like, sending people after him and stuff. So, like, muscular appears. No, stay down. Please stay down. Please stay down. <laughs> Could've used the power of Christ to compel you. That was my parry. <laughs> That's like, that, that, do you know I did when I did like this? Oh jeez! That was my that was my parry. Shield back. Some... Dang. Yeah, take some some of my mana though. See how oh, my blue bar is low. Oh, I see. Yeah, my blue bar. I was really hoping this was a bonfire. I got super excited when I saw that when I saw the flames. <laughs> I kind of want I I want to head back and upgrade this sword. Mm -hmm. I, I don't so... want to head in there. That's what I don't want to do. <laughs> so like All Might's like the cool like guy in the car thing and he's like giving him like directions and things like that and it's cool and then um what's it called uh muscular appears Deku beats him like easy peasy no problem compared to like before when like he had to do uh, quote unquote a million percent yeah I'm just gonna roll past yeah. these guys please that's because like bonfire. Deku's like fighting smart now like, he's using the other quirks in, like, in tandem, and he's just, like, wrecking people. And on top of that, um, he gets, like, the bracers, like, from the movie. He has two of them. He has one on each arm. And, oh, like, wow. he, he can, like, use, um, one for all at, like, a higher percent. And, like, some point in the manga, he even, like, tells All Might, he's like, 
I don't need like training anymore. Oh come the... on! Oh, is that a boss? Yeah. Oh, yeah a boss. First try? You're doing a no, lot of damage. No, I'm not. Go I'm not going to first try her, but. Are you sure? You're doing a ton of damage, dude. Yeah, I don't know what she want. Is she up top? Yeah, I think she might want up here. Oh, she's over there. Oh. That's, that's definitely like towards a, you. Yeah, that's definitely like an insta kill, like that stack bullshit. But yeah, so like Deku's like kind of just as strong as All Might now. And he's like constantly on the move and stuff. He's been beating villains and things like that. And even like later on, uh, his class comes to like show up and like talk to him because they're like, dude, you're not you. You're not sleeping. And you're like not ready for a fight with like um, all for one if you were to appear. And he's like, I got to do this. I can't let other people get hurt. And then Bakugo shows up and he's like, I bet you're not smiling under that mask, are you? And then, it, like, it's revealed that his suit is all tattered and, like, dark like that. Because it's, like, covered in blood. Like, it's dried blood. And his suit's just scratched up from just doing so much crap. Oh, I'm dead. Damn. I have 8,000 souls on there. Oh, damn. <laughs> this is a cool boss. I like this boss. Um... Sadly, this is where I have to end this episode off. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully.